I'm back, bitches. When Johnny Block says that he's gonna get back into making videos, and then he doesn't make any new videos. I'm sorry, okay? I'm back, finally. Let's talk about some FNAF news. But first off, I want to start today's video by showing off some new FNAF merch that I got. As we're going to talk about in a little bit, uh, some brand new FNAF merchandise has been released in Target exclusively. So I went out there to see if I could find any. I didn't, but I did find this dude. Freaking lefty, let's go. It seems like Funko has been restocking a lot of FNAF 6 action figures, especially lefty here, so I copped him. There were so many i got a second one just so i could keep one inside of the box so it looks nice and now this next merchandise is for an upcoming video so i don't want to give away too much but look at that boy right there anyways we got quite a bit of news to talk about so let's not waste any more time thanks for clicking on the video subscribe if you're new smash out a down the like button and let's hop into it so the first bit of news isn't really fnaf news it's more of like fnaf content creator news if that makes any sort of sense we're going to talk about Daco and crank gameplays so Daco, probably the most well-known fnaf youtuber i really shouldn't need to introduce him he's hosting a charity stream tomorrow and he revealed over on twitter not too long ago that he has received some cool things to show us for the stream. Now I responded, and he responded. Again, me and Daco like best bloods. One of those things we already know is a brand new Daco plushie, which seems to be based off of the FNAF show Daco. He posted a teaser to Twitter, which again, I replied, and he replied to me. Again, we're like best buds, Daco and I. So yeah, I'm very excited for the stream. It's gonna be 24 hours. I'll leave it linked down below. Please go donate. It's to an amazing cause. Moving on over to our boy, Ethan Eth from Crank Gameplays. He hosted a stream, which, let me just say right off the bat, was an amazing experience to watch. I unfortunately didn't get to see it live, but I did watch it back on replay, and still, it held up amazingly. It's called Five Nights at Hypers, and basically it's an over-the-shoulder FNAF interactive stream experience. There's a little bit of lore sprinkled in there, the chat could control what happened on the stream, it was really cool. Since it was a stream, it goes on for, I believe it was like two and a half hours, and the only criticism I have was the prices. And I know Eve talked about this, but he also did ask for some feedback, so I'm gonna give a little bit. Now when I say the only critique I have is the prices, how chat interacts with the, the stream, like you pay a hundred bucks for something to happen and then you pay like 200 bucks for something to happen i think the lowest price they had was like 10 bucks that's my only complaint literally i had a blast watching through this and i wasn't even watching it live i'm popping in to quickly uh, clarify something about the prices for the five nights at hypers experience as clarified by a mod on the stream the prices were not cumulative meaning that if someone donated five dollars and let's say they're trying to buy the thing that only costs 10 someone else can't donate five dollars to you know five plus five ten that's not how that works apparently you have to donate exactly 10 bucks exactly 200 exactly 50 whatever the price is it has to be that exact amount uh but yeah other than that the experience was great ethan did a great job all the people working on hyper did a fantastic job again just a great experience overall would love to see more it was amazing again i'll leave it linked down below he uploaded the vod over to youtube please go check it out he also uploaded a like afterthoughts video on it where he explained what happened and that was also a very enjoyable stream to watch i think it's only like an hour or two i know hyper is an actual company that actually had to program and develop the whole set and stuff like that but like this is twitch chat we're talking about then again they do drop fat twitch prime subs over at twitch.tv forward slash johnny blocks hey go follow me on twitch anyways we're taking up quite a bit of time at the beginning let's keep moving through these breaking news a brand new discovery in the gameplay trailer for fnaf security breach has been found apparently when we're walking through the museum i believe this is when we get a shot at glamrock chica's booth apparently you can see Roxanne walking away in the background just behind Carl the Cupcake, Mr. Cupcake himself. I'll be honest, it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it's not like Roxanne's chasing after us, though it does show us that they are going to be walking around while we are walking around at the same time. So it's not like a programmed thing where we enter a room and uh-oh, Roxanne's already there. It seems like as we're walking around the entire mall, hopefully, we'll have a chance to run into Roxanne, Montgomery, maybe even Glamrock Chica, 
Maybe Vanny. I don't know. Moving on, some very exciting news from Click Team. Apparently, UCN on consoles is getting very close to release. They tweeted out on the 9th, taking hashtag FNAF UCN screenshots to prep for store pages today. Seems like I wait for an eternity for the right moment to capture. They followed it up with a reply, to be clear, I am simply taking screenshots to add to the page listings as they go into review, not coming out today. But, as they specified previously, it is in review. And if they're taking screenshots for the, for the store pages, I'm thinking we can see this game very soon. Hopefully this month, though I would not be surprised if we have to wait until April. All right, we're coming up to the last bit of news here, and these last couple of news topics I want to take quite a bit of time to talk about because, oh boy, are they kind of important. Second to last thing, we got FNAF AOR back into the news. Uh, surprise, surprise, there's no brand new content. Why would there be? Yeah, they released yet another photo booth challenge. I'll put up the requirements on screen quickly. I don't know. I, do people people really care about this. It seems like the requirements are basically the same, except now you have to like tag a friend and the replies. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, of course you have to buy new frames and you have to include them in the photos, yada, 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 whatever. And now it seems like they're moving very swiftly into a brand new event, which I'm confused about this, right? You got all these data miners out there. You got all these like people going into the files and saying, oh, we get this event, and then we have, I, I think it's called like the Shamrock Showdown, Shakedown or something, and then they will continue the uh, the Equinox event, whatever it's called, with the uh, the Curse and what Dragon Manga, I don't remember their name. So it is weird that they're taking a break from the Equinox event to do a, I, I think the event's like three days, it's very short, um, the Shamrock Showdown event, whatever it's called. Uh, which is apparently bringing back Shamrock Freddy skin and Golden Freddy for like three days and then they go back to the Equinox event. It's weird. I don't know why they're doing it. I think it's kind of unnecessary too. Like Golden Freddy, even though he is our newest character, he did only come out like three months ago. And also Shamrock Freddy, wasn't he back in a blast from the past already? I don't know. It's just weird that they would like take a break from an event to do a mini event and then go back to the other event. Maybe I'm misunderstanding things, I don't know. But yeah, I have a lot of questions why they're doing this, but I'll just let them do their thing. I, I give up at this point. Olympics, you do whatever the hell you want. Because, I mean, clearly they're not going to listen to the fans. I mean, let's be real here. Final thing to talk about now is some new merchandise releasing very, very soon and also later this year. First up, apparently the Easter Bonnie action figure is out in Walmart right now. Same with the Chocolate Bonnie plushie, but... We We've already talked about that, you've maybe already seen people cover it in videos. And also, I don't know what Freddy Pop Collector's pulling right here, but I was watching his video today, which by the way, a very good video of Freddy. Keep up the great work. I would, you know, love to, you know, make a video on like FNAF Era with you or something. I don't know, man. It was crazy, crazy idea. Yeah, I was watching his very well-made video on the Illumix problem, and in the video he had this screenshot of Chocolate Chica, Chocolate Freddy, and Chocolate Bonnie action figures. Now I've never seen this, and Freddy is a pretty reliable guy, he links all his sources down in the comments, but this screenshot was not in the, I mean, not the comments, the description, but this was not in the description, so I'm guessing maybe this is official, again, I don't know where he got this, I mean, they look pretty reliable, you know? The action figures look exactly what they look like in Funko's teasers, and the box art looks, I mean, exactly what I would expect. So I guess this is the official box art for Chocolate Chica, Chocolate Freddy, and Chocolate Barney. I don't know, man. Take this with a grain of salt. Again, I don't know where this is coming from. Freddy doesn't provide a source link, so I guess just take his word on it. And finally, boys, we got some brand new Funko Ween products releasing get this, in October. This was leaked by a moderator over on the Reddit, so I, I hope this is legit. I don't see why they would go through the effort of faking this, especially if they're a mod on the, on the subreddit. I feel like that would be a dumb idea to fake something like this. Boom, action figures for Dreadbear, Glitchtrap, Grim Foxy, Jacko Bonnie, plushies for Dreadbear and Grim Foxy, and Jacko Chica, and Jacko Bonnie. A lot of good stuff there, unfortunately, 
No plushie for Glitch Trap, which I find very strange. I'm guessing this is all like baseline merchandise, not including exclusives, maybe even not including Builder figures if they're still doing those at this point. It clicked in my mind that if we were to get a Builder figure for Security Breach, it would probably be the amalgamation at the end of the gameplay trailer. So maybe that was scrapped for spoiler reasons. Hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm just spitballing here, that's my idea. If they were to do a Builder figure, I don't know who it would be. I mean, they've already got Glitch Trap there, so I don't know. But yeah, no plushie for Glitchy. Weird choice, but I bet they're gonna make him sometime very soon after this event. If, again, he's not an exclusive, which I'm sure he will be, you know they're gonna make him an exclusive when they release him. And that is everything I do believe, so thanks so much for watching. Sorry I kind of rambled in this video, it's just what I do, baby. But yeah, some very exciting stuff coming up, especially in the content creators for FNAF on YouTube. Again, make sure to tune into Darko's charity stream tomorrow. It's gonna be lit. He's gonna be playing so many games. He's gonna be showing off so many things. He's gonna he's gonna raise so much money. It also seems like maybe he's going through a rough time. So go give him all the love and support because he really does deserve it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.